Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora, and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. And on this channel, we go over all things fragrance. If it is your first time watching, I do like to focus on one perfume house or topic at a time. And today, we are going on a little bit of a scent journey. Uh, we're going to explore, I have a discovery set here, and this is actually, if you're new here, I did suggest a few discovery sets on the community tab, and some of the perfume won by a landslide. I believe it was 65% of you guys wanted to hear about BDK um, fragrances and vanilla. If you're new here as well, we love vanilla and gourmand fragrances and just fragrances in general, exploring, getting to know different, uh, you know, fragrance houses and notes. Sometimes we step outside of our comfort zone and it's just all about fragrances. If this is something you're interested in, go ahead and continue watching. Consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos. So for today, I do want to take you on that journey with Saint Miller de Parfum, uh, you know, wonderful shop in France. They do have this online, um, you know, selection process. It's very personal. Um, you know, it's, it's your own preferences. You get to put in, uh, you know, your own suggest. It suggests what would best suit you as far as, um, you know, your, your discovery set. <laughs> uh, so we'll go through those steps. And then I also want to give a couple of fragrance reviews within, uh, you know, after we discuss the process. Um, I did go ahead and try most, if not all of these. Yeah, all of these. Um, so maybe we'll save the others for another video because uh, I do want to get into a little bit of detail on the BDK fragrances, right? Um, so let's go ahead and start with the discovery set. Uh, Samuelaire Duperfoam reached out and said, hey, would you like to go ahead and check out um, our shop and, and this process? And I said, yes, I would love that. We love exploring, um, you know, the subscribers on here always love to bring up new houses and, and have just an experience. This is a hobby after all, um, you know, we, we love to explore. So bring it on. I went ahead and went through the steps. First things first, step one, you enter your preferences. You need to focus on yourself, the site says, and the things that you like to smell. Uh, for example, oh, I love to smell ocean breeze, ocean water, you know, aquatic fragrances. Um, I love to smell I love the smell of vanilla. I love the smell of orange peels and citrus or, you know, woods or incense, you know, whatever it is. Uh, just think about all the smells that are pleasant to you. Um, I thought that was a, a really interesting, you know, like, okay, we're entering <laughs> the, exp we're going to begin exploring. Uh, very, very nice. Step two is get your personalized selection. You get your personalized selection and you find your expert recommendations among the selection of the best fragrance brands available. They do have quite the catalog on their site. Step three, you receive your sample box. So once you get your, um, your personalized selection, you don't have to go with those. You can customize it, you know, like, oh, I really wanted to try, for example, the BDK Vani Leather, but you know, whatever I put in to the, um, I wanna say algorithm, but I guess, right? <laughs> whatever my choice scent selections were, didn't give me, it didn't compute to Vani Leather and you wanna switch one out or select this, you can, um, so you can customize it as well. So uh, next you receive your box. It does contain the five samples that were tailored to you plus one additional sample. So there are a total of six samples. Um, now here's an interesting part, you guys. Um, the, the brand did reach out and say, uh, would you like a code for your subscribers to save an additional $5? Once you explore your fragrances, you will be refunded or you won't be refunded. You will uh, purchase your full bottle and the price of the discovery set uh, will come off as well as an additional $5 if you enter the code J-A-N-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. So my name is my code. 
Um, it's not an affiliate link. I won't get, you know, percentage of sales or anything like that. It's just simply, um, you know, a code that they made available for us here on the channel. <laughs> so yay for us. Uh, if you do go through this process and go ahead and get reimbursed your discovery set price, uh, tack on an extra $5 as well with the code Janelle, right? Yes. Um, so next thing, um, how do you get here though? <laughs> Those are the steps, steps one through three. Um, on the actual site, it asks you for your preferences on the notes. So do you have any current favorite fragrances? What's your age, your gender? Um, what is your, you know, um, I think that's it. You can also decline to answer. Uh, let's say you don't want to give it your age. Age is just a number. It has nothing to do with fragrances, you know, in your opinion. Then awesome. You can say, you know, none, I think it says none of your business. I'm not sure. I'm putting it here for you guys so you can check it out. You know, have a visual of this process. I, th I thought it was so fun. Uh, it was very immersive. It was an immersive experience. <laughs> um, next, you get to kind of sift through and select your uh, favorite notes. What do you like to smell? What is a complete no? Uh, you know, for example, we have aquatic. Uh, it asks you, see, I think it says seaside. It's really, really nice. Uh, next, it's woody. Uh, would you like to try these woody, uh, you know, fragrances? Earthy, green, white florals. And then there's also um, delicate flowers. Uh, cold spices such as incense that was a no for me um, however it's not a complete deal breaker I have really appreciated fragrances with some incense in there um, but at this point I was trying to get more toward the vanilla you know and if they had anything gourmand in their collection you know in their catalog I kind of wanted it to give me those options um, leathery notes, which is also could go yes and no for me. Uh, then we have warm spices like vanilla, and that is a definite yes. Uh, red fruits such as strawberry, and then also your orchard fruits. Okay, so your oranges and um, what else is in the orchard? <laughs> um, are they grape? Are grapefruits in the orchard? I don't know. I'm not much of an orchard person, but you know your citruses and whatnot. Peaches. Peaches are from the orchard. They have to be. <laughs> um, all right. So that that is basically the experience. It kind of runs through uh, all of that, and then at the end, you end up with all of that. You end up with your olfactive profile. Really nice. Uh, like I said, very immersive, very personal. Uh, you know, experience that I did have with, you know, choosing the fragrances. Now, after I made all of my selections, what did it give me? Um, well, I will be listing them in the description box, so you might already know, but let's go through it. We have BDK's Possessor Extract. We have the BDK Vanille Leather, which I believe, I can't remember if I chose it or if that was a surprise. <laughs> Uh, next, we have a couple from the house of Sylvain Delacourt, and I have never tried anything, but they were, um, they had like maybe three or four different vanillas. Uh, so this is Vanori, and then next we have uh, Vahina, or Vaina, sorry, V-A-H-I-N-A, -A. I don't believe you pronounce the H. <laughs> uh, then we have Atler Materi Cacao Porcelana. Now, this was an interesting one. I did wear this fragrance. I, I, so I'm not the hugest fan of um, like oud. And I wanna say this one has oud. I didn't write down the notes to this. Yeah, I wanna say this one has oud in it. So the experience that I had with this was so nice. It is not a fragrance that I, um, you know, by looking at the notes, I'll put them here for you guys because they're really interesting. I wouldn't say, oh yes, give me that. I need to try. Uh, it does have some cacao in it though. It does have, uh, you know, a tiny bit of chocolate. It is very, very fleeting though. But what I do get from this is marble statues, Greek, you know, Greek statues. I don't know, Rome, something. I'm looking at art somewhere. It's very sophisticated. It's really artsy. Um, it placed me somewhere. 
abroad <laughs> is where that is what that did for me the cacao uh, porcelana oh yeah it is very evident on paper where as to where i thought it was going to be oh so strong and i'm pretty much under sprayed the fragrance the day that i did wear that um because it wasn't as strong as i thought it was going to turn out to be it it muted down a bit uh last here in my sample set i have acro dark or my discovery set acro dark um has in it some i keep saying everything has oud and i don't even know <laughs> but i think so Oh man, but that is dark chocolate. Oh, for certain, for certain. I did not get to wear test this, uh, but let me know if you would like me to try Acro Dark a full day and I'll come on and give a nice deep dive, okay? Um, I did wear the Cacao Porcelana, like I said, um, and uh, yeah, but I didn't get to wear test a full day the Acro Dark. I got, you know, pretty sick there for a while, but we're back. I'm excited. Um, so, I, yeah, I didn't get to wear test that a full day. Uh, now, between these, the Sylvain Delacour, the Vanori, and the Vaina, I would go with the Vaina. This one here had in it some citrus tones uh, that I really did appreciate. And the uh, Vanori was a very floral to my nose. And I'm not a huge... I, I do... I can appreciate a, you know, vanilla floral, but not an indolic scent. I, it was very indolic smelling to me. You know, I feel like if I would have really gone to town spraying it, I would have gotten a headache. It was very heady white floral to me, uh, you know, to my nose. So that was a, that was a pass. Uh, but the Vina is really interesting. Yeah, this one is more clean. Um, yeah almost like high-end um body care is what i get when when i smell vanor vaina <laughs> so um that one was really interesting i would be interested in doing a full day of this one um so yeah let me know if you'd like me to do that the acro dark i want to say the reason i didn't i'm gonna smell it again Oh yeah, never mind. <laughs> the reason that I didn't go for it is because once it started, I did spray it on my hands. Once it started to dry down, I got an overwhelming, um, you know, kind of what to me smells like band-aids. Uh, but it might be suede, I believe, or leather. It might be like a suede le leather. And that, that, you know, dark chocolate is just really fleeting. It's just not, you know... It, it wasn't it for me okay so never mind don't ask for a review <laughs> i can't do it i can't do it um okay that was it for the experience the little discovery set that you end up getting and now let's talk about these bdks you guys i do want to go into detail i'll make sure to make time stamps for today's video um let's talk about the vanille leather first it is a 2023 release it's got an amber floral um tone to it and the perfumer is Dominique Rompion. Um, French perfumer, wonderful house, BDK. They have some solid fragrances. I want to say I have like four, four fragrances that I haven't done reviews on because I've been waiting, thinking I'm going to do a full week of BDK. Uh, Rouge Smoking, Grease Charnel, Grease Charnel Extra, all of that. And then we never got around to it. <laughs> but here we are. Um, you know, at least with two from the house, and they are extract versions. So Vanille Leather is an extract version. In the top, it has Violet and Pink Pepper, Tuberose, Orange Blossom, and Jasmine in the mid, and then Vanilla, Oris, Leather, Benzoin, Oak, and Patchouli in the base. Now, judging from the notes, I was a little bit concerned about the powdery tones. How powdery is this, you know, going to be? Uh, will I be able to jive with the fragrance? Not too sure. And then I just absolutely adored it. <laughs> this is full bottle worthy for me, you guys. This opens up sweet, sweet candy violet. Um, you know, yes, candy powdered like, not your powder like cosmetic powder. Um, you know, initially, initially it is really candy powdered like. Oh yeah, I sprayed it earlier, but I'm gonna spray it again. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh yes, oh, this is just, it opens up so uh, bright even. It's just a sweet candy powder feel. Oh, it's just beautiful. This to me felt very sophisticated, 
very very delicate at the same time just you know sophisticated and delicate i can't pick out the tuberose unless it is what is contributing to that candy um smell almost like gum like if you will um but you know so i couldn't pick out the tuberose is what i'm saying <laughs> in as we're going into the base um i'm waiting for there to be a really strong leather tone i thought to myself okay this is probably too good to be true this is going to dry down just dry blah i'm not gonna drive with it i don't know why i i had all these reservations you know um like this is going to turn on me this is not gonna fly and then it was just beautiful all the way through um it does uh, kind of sit hovering around you it hovered around me the entire day as i'm you know whooshing back and forth and this and that i'm smelling bunny leather all around me and you know all around my presence oh and it is just so so delicate soft yes i do detect a bit of a powdery tone even going into the mid and the dry down so if you are sensitive to powder then you won't get along with this it does have auris in the base um but as it dries down i also get i don't get a full-on leather bag uh you know or leather goods i get more of a just a sweet smooth suede it's just so nice in the dry down um, that vanilla goes ahead and amps right up in the dry down and just gives me a different kind of sweetness. Uh, you know, vanilla that I love. I just absolutely love that note. It's, it just, it's just, it keeps me interested in, in a fragrance when it amps up like that. And it sure did in this one. Um, so overall feel to the fragrance was sophistication, uh, you know, beautiful, soft, delicate, and uh just beautiful beautiful fragrance i don't know why i thought it was just going to be not my cup of tea turned out to be full bottle worthy this is full bottle worthy you guys it it lasted all day long uh we got a nice 10 hours or so on skin 12 hours plus in your atmosphere all over your clothes everywhere it just you know huh. anyways it also wanted to talk to you guys about the fact that it reminded me so much of a fragrance I dearly love and it is called Malo by Sora Dora. I also love their Jani by the way but Sora Dora Malo to me has a stronger almost like a medicinal like opening yes like a, a a stronger violet a more purple is what I get from Sora Dora Malo um, the vanilla leather is a lot smoother in the opening. It's a lot softer. Even though it's still sweet candied violet, it is just somehow softer. Um, it does take a little while for that to dissipate in the malo for me, um, which is why I was even a little bit like, Ooh, do I want a full bottle of malo? I adore the almost marshmallow tone that I do get in this fragrance. I don't get that from the Vani leather, but I do get a beautiful vanilla in that dry down. Um, so different enough fragrances to uh, own both, in my opinion. But I just, it was so reminiscent of Malo because of that violet, candied violet smell. Um, okay, <laughs> but they are different fragrances, uh, not, not one and the same. Oh, so nice. Also, the Vani leather... Uh, gave me that sophisticated feel and Malo doesn't. Malo to me is just really comforting sweet candy vibes and I love to mix it with marshmallows. My Delicia de Marshmallow body butter, uh, you know, other deeper vanillas even. It's just a wonderful layering fragrance as well. Okay, that was it for BDK's Vani Leather. It is a winner. Um, it definite contention here for a full bottle from this discovery set. And then last but not least, Passesor Extract. I did really enjoy a rendition of this by Luxador Perfume Oils. Uh, we, we reviewed a whole, a few of these on the channel. Uh, Passesor Extract, you know, really reminded me of another fragrance. I'll let you guys know in a second. 
if you watch that review you already know which one it is uh, but this is also an amber floral fragrance released in the year 2023 and it we have in here in the top pear ginger orange cacao pod and black pepper uh quince or quince <laughs> jasmine peach and orange blossom and in the base cashmere patchouli ambroxan vanilla and benzoin um again another fragrance that has a little bit of red flags for me um, it has that uh, patchouli that can sometimes just come across too strong. I will say it is definitely detectable here. I cannot say it's not. Uh, but this comes out initially. Oh, man. Oh, this comes out initially with a tiny bit of a smoky presence, which I find very interesting. Oh, but it just feels so sultry to me. Um, I also get, and I'm pretty sure uh, this might be either the cacao pod with the black pepper or the patchouli, but I get a almost oud sensation, but it is, it is still delectable. <laughs> so maybe more of like a woody feel to it, I get, uh, but like I said, kind of like if it has the note of oud um, in here. So if you're not a fan, um, I wouldn't go for this. I think that this fragrance is really nice and bold. It is um, girly, but bold at the same time. Um, yeah, really, really enjoyed the wear on this. Now, whereas Malo, uh, Malo, <laughs> whereas Vanille Leather was uh, kind of a little more subdued, this is pow. This is just strong strength type of a fragrance. This will... Uh, get you noticed. You do have some projection uh, to the fragrance. It does have a um, 10 plus hours on skin wear, 12 plus on clothes. It's not going anywhere. Um, definitely past arm's length on that projection for the first ooh, six hours or so. It is. It goes, okay? Uh, so be careful with that. Uh, now, the fragrance does remind me of another fragrance that I do have here in the collection. Man, I just have those drops everywhere. <laughs> I, I spilled something in here. Um, this is Greedy's Gossip Night. Now, this fragrance is also just so sultry to me. It is, a, you know, a beautiful, seductive peach <laughs> is what I get from Gossip Night. Uh, patchouli is in here as well. So if you don't like uh, that note, then steer clear. They're really reminiscent of each other, the Greedy Gossip Night. But at the same time, they're different fragrances. Um, so if you like that scent profile, no problem on owning both. So yeah, Greedy Gossip Night, uh, I feel, is kind of in the same wheelhouse as the Possessor Extra. Um, and it's just, a it was a wonderful wear. Another full bottle worthy from the house of BDK, in my opinion. Um, and I just have my work cut out for me as far as choosing uh, you know, a full bottle here <laughs> uh, that we are unfortunately not choosing this year. If you've been on the channel, you know that we are steering clear of full bottle buys, even though this wouldn't be considered a blind buy since I am sampling. Um, you know, we're still not going full in on full bottles until, you know, we're adding to the wish list. So let's go ahead and put the wish list up for 2025 full bottle purchases. BDK Passasaur Extra and the um, Vani Leather are going to be added to the list. Okay, yes, <laughs> we've made two other additions to the list and uh, we're going to continue exploring here in this closet. Um, next couple of videos, I'm thinking whether or not to um, do the body glaze body drops. Um, and or go ahead and jump in into our next house you guys um, I can't remember what came in second place but I remember thinking um, next let's go ahead and jump into the Farmacia Anuncia possibly we'll see <laughs> I'll give it a go this week and we'll see if we'll review review those um, if not we'll see what else we can get into around here we have plenty to continue to talk about and discover together all right uh let me know what you think about Samuel de Parfum um you know yes it is in in uh, France but you know um since the first time that I went ahead and put in my selections to the time that it arrived here in the U.S. for me it wasn't a long time um I think a week and a half tops and I had my discovery set yeah 
Um, so it, it has a nice travel time. <laughs> um, that was it for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Um, you know, enjoy explaining the process to you guys. And then, of course, the fragrances themselves. Y'all have a blessed day, your night, or your evening. And you stay safe. Bye-bye.